So here's the thing with technology. Technology moves today on an exponential curve. Our thinking is linear, and the biggest challenge we had so far with Global Grand Challenges is that we couldn't solve them with technology because technology wasn't yet good enough. But now we're at this magic intersection moment. Lines cross the first time ever we can actually solve for Global Grand Challenges leveraging technology. When you have really big problems and a technology that can potentially solve them, and then you usher in a creative entrepreneur who can bring all of that together, magic happens. These entrepreneurs who are willing to take risks, willing to fail, willing to try over and over and over again, are for me the greatest hope for solving the grand challenge. You're getting instant feedback. You're getting feedback from customers, from faculty who are, who are experts in that domain, and for pretty much any and every kind of stakeholder you could possibly meet. What we're doing with our entrepreneurs is we're surrounding them with the best possible networks. Mentors, advisors, corporate partners, funders. We were promised a personalized, tailored accelerator program, and that's exactly what we received. We're trying to evaluate the character, the personality of that entrepreneur founder, because that is going to inform the values, the culture, and ultimately the success of the enterprise. Business strategy, funding strategy, clinical trials, go to market, you name it, we do it. This has allowed us to take a moonshot idea, identify how to bring it into the market, and then take that impact and scale it up to a global company. We want them to see themselves as leaders and creators of change, and we want them to build companies that actually matter in the world, that make things better for governments, societies, countries, cities. Byrene is a nanocarbon, which will form the basic future of nanotechnology. IOTA security prevents cybercrime on mobile devices. We are taking the guesswork out of cancer treatment. What we want them to do is we want them to hit all the major milestones so that they can stay alive long enough to see their big mission, their impact mission, all the way through. I think SU is one of the most interesting places right now on Earth uh, to think about uh, innovation and progress. We sit at the intersection of technology, Fortune 500s, and impact. And when you put an entrepreneur in the middle of that, they can grow and build products that actually change the world. 